Okay. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you to uh, join me for uh, 11th week of this lecture. Uh, so, uh, what quite uh, actually through the days, uh, a little uh, nervous that I uh, caught a call. Actually, uh, very infectious. Uh, please take care uh, to get your healthy through uh, the weeks remaining. Uh, for, for winter vacation. Okay. Uh, we uh, now that uh, we uh, have complete the kind of our uh, assignment uh, of term, and you will uh, now uh, have uh, time to uh, wait for your uh, grade in final project. And uh, I consider. Uh, your viewpoint is uh, very uh, possessive and uh, quite explicatory about the issues. And many uh, students did very well about that. Uh, excellent. Uh, uh, especially your uh, case brief is excellent. Uh, uh, very well structured and uh, finely matched to the f usual format the lawyers and attorneys have employed to. Uh, respond with this responsibility, and also uh, the death penalty has uh, been well articulated uh, about the series and uh, the gist of rules. Uh, what actually uh, held uh, over the uh, decades in uh, adjudication? You see, uh, your uh, uh, beginning point is a uh, former boss of judge and uh, what actually a very revolutionary basis has been laid about the uh, federal context of uh, supervision, uh, the imposition of death penalty and the kind of uh, sta statutes, uh, death penalty statutes uh, is actually uh, paradigmatic since the criminal justice system uh, 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 generally depends on the state uh, choice and preference, and now uh, two and half of the United States uh, abolished the, uh, the uh, death penalty in the state criminal justice system in Massachusetts in uh, the mid of uh, 1980s and others. Uh, the, the beginning point uh, to be questioned by federal authority is that the constitutional uh, ground, the Eighth and uh, 14th Amendment, uh, actually uh, proscribes the cruel, unusual, cruel punishment. And, and also uh, the death, imposition of death penalty uh, should be in uh, comfort with the constitutional requirements, the due process for law. Uh, so uh, uh, the context has been uh, lately dealt in uh, many uh, a uh, project to return in your class hours, and I am very satisfied with your ideas and propositions and suggestions and the kind of descriptions of uh, federal statute or international treaty. And thank you for your uh, deep engagement in, on that uh, point. So, uh, now we complete uh, some uh, what uh, a basic uh, risk uh, assignment uh, and envisaged in uh, uh, the first day of this term and the course uh, a class plan has been scheduled to meet uh, the kind of uh, progress uh, that has been announced early in days and the process is uh, generally uh, completed in my view and the remaining uh, two or three weeks will be devoted to kind of uh, uh, some uh, issues and classic notions and the works uh, that could uh, unravel uh, the behind thinking of common law lawyers and the kind of a basic philosophy uh, 
uh, to be interacted to sh in shaping the legal system of uh, the United States and Great Britain, and also the kind of uh, basic uh, uh, understanding of legal system, for example, Code of Chancery, what is a uh, code, and also uh, what's the basic profile about antitrust laws uh, in the United States, what is shaman and what is that. And also, how do we conceive the types of uh, killings in the criminal justice system of uh, the United States Great Britain? Uh, actually, uh, the uh, scheme is uh, very specific. And, uh, in a uh, spectrum, uh, to uh, Making uh, what a, a distinction in uh, pattern of engagement or mental state on others is very uh, instructive uh, through the first and second degree murders and what is common law crime and uh, what a kind of manslaughter. Uh, you will also introduce the notion of homicide, uh, murder, kill, uh, and what is uh, the element criminal element that is expected in the statute. The common law crimes has been developed uh, in the courtroom and often uh, the state criminal system uh, has uh, enacted uh, the statute and, uh, that uh, would endorse the kind of a theory and also the elements established and found through the court process, uh, uh, which also is incorporated into uh, respective provisions and clauses. Uh, so, for example, you will see same element in burglary crime or robbery, armed robbery, and felony murder kind of uh, crimes, uh, uh, oftentimes shared over uh, uh, respective jurisdictions. And this, uh, virtually uh, not uh, variegated of uh, many important uh, pro uh, elements and profiles of crime and uh, kind of uh, uh, prerequisite for punishment. Uh, so, what actually uh, uh, often uh, the state authority used the catch-up price uh, to incorporate the uh, common law crimes uh, what, uh, which uh, is not uh, uh, spelled out in any uh, express terms. So, impliedly, all uh, the court uh, rules of history uh, dealing with the uh, criminal uh, questions and uh, the kind of crimes uh, would uh, su uh, survive without any uh, express uh, terms or provisions. Uh, that is usual practice. Uh, could be attained uh, through uh, the state jurisdiction. Uh, so, uh, my plan in uh, this week is to explore some uh, in, uh, exciting uh, event. Well, actually, Professor Bohanian has <coughs> been excellent about his uh, presentation in the International Composite. Uh, in the last week, I've introduced uh, some uh, uh, local uh, conference in uh, what held uh, in collaboration with the uh, local prosecuting offices. Uh, tomorrow, uh, uh, the uh, law department of Joseon University will call an international symposium. Uh, the same is a a the. Uh, a recent development of a criminal law and theory uh, across the jurisdictions. So Japanese and Chinese scholars would participate uh, to present their uh, insights and uh, views about their uh, national laws and uh, uh, local uh, regulations. And Professor Kang Hing-shin would uh, assume the law to translate for the Japanese scholar and I was uh, asked to 
uh, take a role of translation uh, for the case of uh, Professor Bolani. So I, I had a chance to uh, read this article. Uh, theory uh, is positive uh, that uh, what make its point uh, uh, in uh, very persistent cultural defense in the United States. Uh, so I will suggest uh, some sharing in the first part of this class about this topic. Uh, <coughs> I <coughs> prepared some uh, PowerPoint presentation as uh, you are available in um, production. Uh, what a cultural defense in the United States and the thesis was structured in well, five parts and. Introduction, cultural defense in theory, and uh, he uh, made a good argument uh, over uh, typical cases, which is quite unusual. Uh, uh, perhaps uh, the uh, some enclaves about uh, Laotian immigrant and uh, what well, Chinese immigrant and kind of. A distinct uh, group in the United States may perpetrate a kind of crime, uh, but uh, uh, in uh, the uh, under the influence of a dominant country in the case, or case. So uh, that is <coughs> <coughs> to be a cultural defense uh, to uh, 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 strengthen uh, their uh, claims. Of course, <coughs> you will uh, see that uh, the traditional affirmative uh, defense could be bolstered uh, from uh, the assertion of distinct culture or any uh, affectation or the intellectual uh, or uh, uh, cognitive understanding and uh, happy, uh, what, uh, propensity is due to be shaped in that. Uh, influence and uh, understanding then uh, might be raised as a cultural defense. However, uh, how do you uh, perceive, uh, for example, uh, the maxim, uh, the subject uh, is uh, due to uh, respect the law of lands. It's actually <coughs> one uh, constituent for the community uh, that uh, they uh, need to uh, what uh, pay due attention and respect. Consider the contrary uh, structure in uh, what, uh, operational law. They would enjoy uh, the prestige or status uh, in uh, uh, the land uh, because of a very uh, uh, assistance with law. And uh, law is uh, uh, an uh, instrument uh, to uh, provide a shield for uh, security or s uh, personal safety and also could be a source, ground uh, to uh, sustain the wealthy uh, benefit of others. So they could uh, seek advantage. Uh, from the law. Uh, the opposite aspect in the sense is to respect the law they uh, reside. And temporal residency is also okay. Uh, that uh, should be respected. That is basic concept we share uh, in a perspective, in the dominant perspective. And uh, Professor Bohemina also made uh, that aspect in his uh, uh, final message uh, in uh, his article. Uh, I consider it uh, very powerful and uh, persuasive through uh, the uh, di uh, diversity in uh, disagreement and contention. Uh, very helpful. Uh, you see, uh, the uh, criminal law is generally a project. Uh, of a ubiquitous nature of uh, response, eh? often 
we uh, can uh, be ready to identify any kind of uh, culpability of uh, uh, scope of uh, human uh, conduct and activities. So murder, burglary, theft, uh, very evil, or, and uh, uh, the kind of activity that uh, brings a social harm uh, 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 to deprave the community. Uh, actually, uh, we have uh, a general understandings, notwithstanding the culture and uh, uh, types of what actually uh, uh, nation. So, at the often uh, reasonable uh, standard uh, could well operate uh, to uh, make uniform in uh, uh, shaping the crimes and misdemeanors. Ethical code can be uh, in convergence vastly of jurisdictions. But the kind of a comprehension is quite adequate. Uh, so how would you find uh, the uh, what, uh, leniency uh, that could be complemented with cultural defense? Uh, nonetheless, we still uh, see uh, the kind of corner of a, a twilight in twilight zone uh, between uh, the cultural majority and uh, uh, distinct group of culture. So, uh, let's consider, for example, uh, Oyaku Sinju in uh, People vs. Kimura. Oyaku Sinju uh, is, uh, has uh, root pages from uh, Japanese world and uh, a custom of history uh, and uh, sustained in uh, well spirit of housewife Jana. So the uh, Japanese wives uh, could commit a suicide and any, uh, take any other uh, last action uh, to kill her child wives. Okay? In this case, Oyak uh, Kimura uh, has taken a long ride uh, of, uh, in the uh, beach of California, Santa Monica, kind of hallucin. <laughs> uh, uh, he, he took his two uh, babies, one uh, uh, boy and one uh, girl, uh, two or uh, four years respectively, and he, he took his babies into uh, uh, baby's trailer and uh, left it in, uh, in the bus. And uh, he uh, took the baby and uh, took work uh, into a deep sea. What is reaction uh, that meaning that uh, he, uh, she uh, intend to draw himself and his uh, two uh, babies death uh, that is of course uh, from uh, semi uh, severe emotional distress or, uh, incurred uh, from, uh, by his uh, her husband uh, adultery and kind of uh, quandary to break his family relations. Uh, so uh, that uh, uh, actually a shocking incident led her to uh, decide uh, on suicide and uh, kind of killing of his, uh, uh, sorry, her two babies. Eh? And uh, of course uh, uh, she was accused of two counts of uh, suicide and uh, First degree murder, uh, and in the process, uh, the citizen of Los Angeles, uh, principally from uh, the origin of Japan, uh, claimed uh, to apply the Japanese practice and consider uh, the case in uh, the criterion of the uh, Japanese custom and also what. Uh, Factors uh, from the practice uh, should uh, be taken as granted to decide the criminal uh, penalty or in uh, finding uh, an innocence uh, to the interest of the defendant. The kind of uh, background has been uh, detailed in your printout and. Uh, 
uh, that uh, could be received by judge, uh, with uh, meaning the case is uh, very selective uh, to be successful by cultural defense. Uh, as you read through the article, uh, the mainstream of uh, criminal jurisprudence in the United States generally denies cultural defense as independent. It is uh, a little a factor uh, to be considered when they uh, take uh, the process to weigh the uh, uh, merit of affirmative justice, uh, affirmative defense. Sorry. So uh, the uh, how to operate uh, to mitigate uh, the sentence or uh, 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 prove his uh, innocence is very weak uh, if he uh, stress cultural defense. So not uh, uh, to be received in the, uh, what a chance is done consider uh, to be uh, received as uh, effective uh, independent defense. And so uh, you consider uh, the case is highly uh, occasional. Uh, people take it uh, forcefully. People was chant. This case involved uh, newly uh, immigrated a Chinese, uh, Chinese named Chan and uh, he uh, what actually uh, cruelly uh, killed his wife uh, who, who uh, committed adultery and adulterous uh, uh, relations was uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, factor uh, to uh, what I call the kind of provocation or heat of passion so uh, you see uh, the criminal theory about uh, second degree murder. Uh, so uh, uh, that was uh, uh, dealt, uh, what uh, actually uh, on the basic uh, criminal law theory, uh, you see, then uh, there would be a, a little room the Chan could be successful to argue for his uh, uh, innocence eh? uh, if he uh, relies on a Chinese uh, culture or custom. Uh, many ex what a uh, evidence were produced uh, to prove uh, uh, he, uh, kind of a, a uh, promoting a uh, sensibility uh, and uh, general uh, recognition about uh, a reaction from husband in uh, the kind of a situation. So, uh, could be argued uh, from that viewpoint. Uh, however, uh, the call would uh, not prefer to take uh, the kind of defense uh, in any uh, determinative uh, consequence. Eh? So. Uh, you consider uh, the uh, success of uh, cultural defense would often uh, mitigate uh, the kind of crime uh, to the lesser crime. So second degree murder uh, could uh, be reshaped uh, with a, a, a for manslaughter. Uh, what is manslaughter? Uh, it is a lesser crime of a uh, murder case. Uh, that could uh, what uh, create uh, many chances of uh, probation or a, a two or a five year sentence actually. Uh, so very uh, helpful. Uh, you see, uh, and uh, basically uh, you will uh, be required to approach uh, the cultural defense uh, could have a, a historical basis. Eh? Uh, what is uh, nulla pona uh, sin elege, in the Latin word, there is no penalty without law. Uh, so ignorance of law 
would often exaggerate uh, uh, in uh, this perspective and also uh, you will uh, understand the four types of uh, specific uh, rules or principles uh, uh, which ramifies from uh, this principle. So Nulla Perne Gine previous lesson or Nulla uh, Perne Gine uh, third or kind of. Well, there is no penalty uh, without a, a law of certainty. The legal certainty is important, especially in the criminal uh, province of law, uh, since uh, the uh, 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 criminals uh, have to uh, uh, chance to take a precaution. So ex post uh, factor laws would be private as a theory and principle. Uh, and also, over the Lula Ponezine Lege script, very uh, well, actually uh, consequential, uh, especially in the, the civil law tradition. So, uh, well, uh, uh, there is no uh, penalty without written law. And uh, what uh, is the last one? Nulla pene ponezine lege stricta. There is uh, to be no penalty without still law. So uh, the rule of uh, lenity uh, is uh, accepted uh, in the general. Uh, uh, criminal uh, law theory. So, uh, the if ambiguities arise, uh, the uh, uh, solution should uh, be based on uh, the side uh, to the interest of a criminal. So, uh, uh, strict in interpretation is a uh, basic way to approach uh, the, the what. Well, or actually proscribing uh, uh, some uh, arbitrary use of criminal provision uh, should uh, be understood of strict understanding of terms and phrases. Uh, uh, elements of crime should be uh, evidenced uh, on what a, a higher uh, uh, extent of uh, uh, production of evidence. So beyond what is uh, the meaning uh, that could be attained uh, in the rule, beyond reasonable doubt. Uh, so uh, mere preponderance evidence is insufficient uh, to uh, make a, a, a convicted culpable. Okay? Uh, so uh, the uh, Professor Bohanian begins uh, his uh, uh, discussion uh, with ignorance of law. Generally, ignorance of law uh, does not exonerate uh, the suspect or a criminal. Eh? The law is a part of objectivity. And the common law judges would not take uh, any uh, sensitive uh, uh, investigation into a uh, deep nature of a, uh, a criminal mind about uh, their oppression or cooperation. The law uh, is actually uh, has uh, implications as he has. Eh? Uh, and uh, his point is, uh, however, subtle about the uh, mistake of law. Uh, in other uh, angle, uh, the uh, mistake of law is one uh, justification uh, in the common law or criminal uh, theory, uh, which is a little uh, distinctive from ignorance of law. Uh, in some cases, a mistake of law uh, may operate as a mitigating factor or in other cases would constitute uh, uh, the requirements uh, about crime elements. Eh? So uh, should be proven beyond reasonable doubt to incriminate the uh, criminals. Eh? Uh, so the kind of notion uh, has been uh, briefed uh, 
to uh, uh, develop his theme about cultural defense in the United States in Syria. So, uh, what well, a proponents of cultural defense include uh, multiculturalists who are selected in an increasingly pluralistic society. Fairness requires that the criminal justice system be individualized to moderate the strict application of the law, and others who oppose multiculturalism in general support uh, the admission of cultural evidence on due process grounds. Uh, so, uh, his uh, uh, theoretical uh, source is uh, very uh, explicative and uh, very uh, authoritative uh, by illustrating many uh, scholars. For example, Dorothville is uh, an, uh, what, a legal anthropologist. Eh? Uh, and a theory is termed an interest convergence theory. Uh, so, uh, upon uh, uh, the real success of cultural defense, the judges or jurists may share uh, to be sensitive about cultural defense. They could uh, have some personal experience about the aspect of culture uh, raised in uh, uh, criminal defense by defendant, then they could uh, be ma uh, mindful to listen to uh, cultural defense. And uh, culture in uh, that dimension uh, would be exchanged uh, among another jury, between juries and the criminals. Then uh, the uh, probability uh, to uh, uh, be successful, but cultural defense uh, will uh, increase generally. Uh, the interest convergence theory. Actually, uh, the problem is quite uh, uh, structural, uh, which means uh, the substantive uh, and divisive line uh, is uh, not clear. So. We have uh, many uh, elements to be agreeable among uh, uh, the various legal systems. Uh, the Professor Bohemian has illustrated uh, uh, Korean uh, Criminal Code, Article 6, uh, which uh, originated uh, from uh, German authority. Uh, so uh, have same uh, provisions uh, in uh, regulation of crime. And I mean, a structural uh, similarity, uh, of course, uh, very expectable, you see. Uh, so, traditionally, ignorance of law or doctrine has uh, not been accepted uh, by Germany, uh, making uh, uh, the German uh, legal system distinctive from common law. The uh, prescription is uh, facially. Uh, uh, contradictory with uh, the uh, uh, general theory of ignorance of law. Uh, nonetheless, that could not end uh, the discussion and any uh, contention uh, involved with this uh, topic. Uh, so uh, we can uh, eventually find <coughs> many tools and vehicles to <coughs> make them uh, share and uh, are actually uh, uh, consonant among another. Huh? So uh, just a structure uh, to make them uh, uh, disagreeable, huh? but uh, could have uh, many uh, spaces uh, to be uh, uh, convergent and agreeable, uh, producing any uh, plausible solution. Uh, eventually. So the cultural defense take his argument in uh, the first place that cultural defense is kind of factor about traditional affirmative defense. Uh, that argument uh, would uh, uh, be a 
well, actually acceptable in uh, our, our sensibility and uh, recognition. And <coughs> also, uh, <coughs> so his uh, conclusion will suggest a very uh, important uh, uh, aspect of this uh, contention. Uh, he, he considered the need <coughs> for deterrence. Eh? Uh, deterrence is one uh, objective uh, we uh, pursue uh, in maintaining a criminal justice system, as you know. And consider, for example, uh, uh, an, an independent cultural defense undermines the doctrine of equality. Uh, that, uh, this uh, view is uh, held by a, uh, what, the general people of the United States and also uh, perhaps <coughs> will uh, uh, take uh, a large support of uh, uh, scholars and academia. So what, uh, consider the uh, group of a distinct culture. Uh, the group would, uh, the, uh, what actually the stage, the crime would uh, occur, what and in that case, uh, we'll see uh, the discrete uh, view among uh, the group of uh, uh, family members and others about their exposure to dominant culture and uh, well, actually some uh, differences uh, individually among uh, the group of members. Uh, then. Uh, uh, we need to well, appreciate uh, what uh, the doctrine of equality uh, to be uh, upheld uh, through many uh, contexts of uh, the interaction. So the crime is one uh, event uh, which is uh, well, actually uh, very uh, bad, often uh, condemned by uh, community people and uh, of course there is very uh, aspect the criminal law and justice system would operate uh, and also consider uh, equality concern uh, among uh, various uh, stakeholders interest holders and uh, between the victims and uh, crimes uh, so uh, cultural defense uh, uh, could be a factor uh, that the judge uh, could, uh, should appreciate uh, of, uh, uh, adjudication and a determination of a proper adequate sentence. Uh, however, uh, cultural defense in uh, Bohemian's uh, viewpoint is, uh, need not be independent, uh, as I uh, stressed. Uh, and uh, his uh, final uh, point of conclusion is the standard criminal law defenses are adequate to ensure consideration of cultural factors. Uh, so in his uh, conclusion, we find uh, the kind of uh, uh, important instruction uh, uh, to articulate the, the genuine nature of this uh, discussion. Under current American law, culture has been used to negate an element of the offense, such as mistake of fact concerning consent and rape, as in the Mao Mong Mary by capture matter, and to support the notion if main sexual assault statute has required the purpose of sexual arousal as an element of charge instead of purposeful mouse genital contact, Karga would have left the purpose. In addition to the flexibility provided by prosecutorial uh, discretion, the so-called uh, diminished provision. So, uh, very insightful uh, to have a comparative uh, com uh, operation between uh, Korea and uh, United States. Uh, uh, you see uh, another uh, helpful case to unravel uh, uh, the genuine feature of this uh, issue one, uh, 
we can see uh, some distant culture from Afghanistan custom. Uh, the case name is titled Safe's Karga. Uh, in uh, this case, uh, in this case, uh, uh, sorry, <coughs> a call from Professor Kim Jong. -un. Uh, perhaps a uh, uh, call to report for uh, dinner. Uh, we have uh, uh, I saw. Uh, actually, uh, uh, we'll uh, host uh, uh, a dinner uh, party uh, for the invited uh, professors at uh, uh, international symposium. And Afghanistan custom, actually, uh, in those. Uh, uh, the kind of a, a contact, a parental contact to the genital what, uh, uh, organ of a, a minor child. Uh, uh, actually, that is one a way to express a sexual, what, a, uh, what, a sacred gratification about the growth and the kind of uh, way to uh, show affection uh, between. Uh, parents and uh, children. In this case, uh, Karga uh, was a uh, recent immigrant from Afghanistan. Actually, uh, uh, he could be classed as a refugee, status of refugee in terms of an international uh, uh, treaty, a kind of persecution. And uh, he uh, actually was led to settle in the state of Maine. Uh, the state of Maine uh, Many is the kind of a, a sexual assault uh, statute, and uh, in uh, the meantime, Karga uh, had occasion uh, of babysitting uh, uh, of a child from his neighborhood, and uh, his uh, activity once uh, uh, what a. Uh, Aroused a suspect from uh, the parent of neighborhood child. Uh, he, he showed the uh, picture depicting uh, his uh, kiss on a uh, uh, genital organ of the child. Uh, that uh, has been uh, passed up uh, by the parents. In the, uh, the day of event, uh, the Kalga's activity was uh, witnessed by a child who uh, cast the, the sexual organ of a 18 uh, uh, child. Uh, so uh, the child reported uh, that incident uh, to uh, his parents, and actually, the parents in this case uh, decided to report. Instant to child. So Karga uh, was uh, uh, pursued in wood uh, search warrant and also somewhat actually uh, in uh, with the aid of a social worker and translators. The, the his house was uh, actually searched uh, to collect the evidence and others. Actually, he was uh, 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 what. Well, prosecuted uh, uh, on the basis of a uh, uh, main uh, sexual assault uh, statute. Uh, the uh, uh, progress uh, on this kind of a, a case is uh, virtually uh, similar uh, over many uh, distant global cultural uh, difference. Uh, uh, the uh, immigrant from uh, Afghanistan uh, would uh, petition to apply uh, the Afghanistan custom and uh, uh, what a sought uh, favor from the court uh, in the interest of Karga. So the kind of activity is not actually uh, bad or unacceptable. It is one way. Uh, to be practiced oftentimes and uh, generally over uh, the cities and uh, 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 is uh, one uh, communal uh, uh, ceremony uh, between parents and child. Eh? Uh, 
this Islam law would uh, prosecute the kind of uh, sexual relations between parents and uh, child to death. But that is uh, not a uh, sexual kind of uh, uh, activity or you know, behavior. Uh, should be deemed uh, respectable or actually uh, a kind of a sacred uh, uh, interaction between child and uh, well, parent. Eh? So, uh, uh, very uh, uh, conspicuous uh, and actually uh, uh, most uh, uh, distinguishable uh, from other cases that the custom is quite stark eh, and impressive. Uh, and uh, well, uh, let's take another uh, case where well, people who uh, uh, versus more, uh, it uh, 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 deals with the Hmong immigrant. Eh? Uh, Mao is uh, uh, an immigrant from Laos and uh, uh, now studies in the uh, United States and he uh, took his uh, uh, tribal uh, female to his uh, college dormitory and uh, what actually applied uh, some uh, uh, undue influence or uh, even a uh, force uh, uh, to have a sexual intercourse with the uh, kidnapped uh, female. Uh, his defense is that uh, uh, Laos has the kind of a, a custom. What does it mean? It is uh, the word from uh, Laos. Uh, what actually uh, uh, marriage ceremony through capture uh, and uh, his uh, creation of uh, kidnapping uh, is actually uh, fabulous and uh, in some sense uh, fabricated to test the virtue of a lady. So uh, he uh, would be a villain uh, to uh, oppress the female for his uh, personal uh, satisfaction. Uh, satisfaction, uh, uh, wishful uh, uh, what engagement to uh, actually uh, fake for a sexual intercourse. Then women would resist. Eh? I'm not ready. I'm a virtuous woman. The kind of <laughs> then uh, would be a, a preceding uh, their uh, official ceremony of marriage. It's uh, one custom alleged by. Uh, defendant. In uh, that case, uh, the cultural defense could uh, uh, realize some success in his uh, criminal defense. And, uh, he uh, received the right uh, penalty in consideration of rape crime. Uh, in the process, the victim would admit that uh, he was actually raped. A forceful uh, uh, surrender to uh, uh, the perpetrator, uh, and, uh, but uh, this sentence is 120 days in prison, uh, jail, uh, very light, uh, and also uh, uh, was uh, fined with what a thirty uh, three thousand uh, dollars, not. Uh, uh, Great amount in uh, my general uh, sense, uh, and uh, ninety percent was uh, paid uh, to compensate for the victim. Uh, so, how do you uh, assess uh, this kind of uh, response from the court? Uh, uh, actually, in uh, successive cases, the court uh, would render uh, uh, a, a light penalty and. Uh, often uh, uh, be uh, assigned with the probation or uh, major probation or the actual imprisonment would, would be waived in some cases and uh, the penalty would be lessened to manslaughter. Often uh, the beginning uh, is uh, about the second degree murder. Or, uh, the case uh, would be uh, rape or uh, murder, 
in the heat of passion, and heat of passion will uh, uh, be prescribed as second degree murder, often uh, and generally of uh, jurisdictions. Uh, manslaughter is uh, less crime, you, you consider, and the intent or other mental uh, state required as of a, a criminal theory is uh, not uh, specific and also uh, recklessness or uh, general uh, for nature. A non negligent civic activity is uh, a little uh, gross than uh, negligent uh, killing, uh, but uh, not an uh, intent crime in understanding. Uh, hence, uh, it is uh, uh, lighter than a uh, normal kind of uh, murder crime, uh, first degree murder or second degree murder. And what others? Uh, you uh, consider, for example, doctrine of equality uh, to be complemented uh, more in aspect. Uh, uh, you will need to have some uh, need to appreciate between uh, new immigrants and uh, settled context of same culture or, or origin. Eh? So, uh, long years in residence about uh, Asians or others. Uh, would be made distinct from new immigrants from same country. You are a uh, Chinese origin, uh, but immigrated last year. I'm uh, uh, more experienced in this culture. Then how do you assess uh, any difference between two groups? And uh, uh, one other uh, aspect. Uh, so many, if, but actually multifaceted to be uh, individualized and specific. So specific uh, the case approach is very uh, commendable uh, in my uh, uh, okay, uh, appreciation. Uh, so uh, that also would be agreeable with the view of a professor Bohemian. So in uh, cultural depends uh, lacks the, the due quality, ethic quality uh, as an independent uh, basis of defense. Eh? Uh, and uh, multiculturalism is uh, the kind of uh, ideal uh, we now pursue uh, in Korea also. We have many uh, uh, foreign workers uh, now uh, contributing to the national economy, their cooperation, and also participation in the community would well be uh, helpful, I suppose. And uh, multiculturalism is one uh, slogan uh, to create the kind of success in the United States. Yeah? The, the mixed uh, uh, nature of country with uh, diverse ethnicities, uh, races, and uh, what, uh, black and white people, now uh, Hispanic immigrants and Asian uh, people uh, uh, increase. Eh? Uh, the uh, kind of concept uh, to promote the progress of society uh, is uh, what, uh, especially uh, emphasized in the workplace, eh? the equal right to work world. Uh, and uh, Professor Bohemian, of course, uh, supposed the kind of approach in many uh, personal affiliations. Uh, nonetheless, his message is echoing that the cultural defense uh, is a distinct uh, issue, uh, especially when we consider the criminal uh, uh, consequence. Eh? Uh, so, uh, through his article, we find many uh, famous names, or Professor Chu, and uh, sincerely from uh, the law school of George Washington University. And Dirk, there is one uh, legal uh, anthropologist, and their uh, view uh, is uh, quite uh, eclectic uh, to incorporate the idea of multiculturalism. So, uh, for example, you see in uh, the part of conclusion, proponents of cultural defense argue that the right to introduce 
subjective criminal evidence in a criminal trial is not only a liberty right but also a cultural right protected by clause 27 of the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights and the International Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights which mandate the protection of the right of minorities to enjoy their culture. Accordingly, Professor Chu has offered the following language for new cultural justification defense. The defendant is not guilty of an offense if a reasonable person of a similar cultural background to the defendant believes that the harm caused by the conduct of the defendant was outweighed by some other imminent harm prevented by the same conduct. A defendant cannot claim this defense if there was a way other than the conduct to prevent the harm sought to be avoided. So the uh, cultural defense could only be successful when uh, the defendant would be a, a last resort uh, uh, to rely on the kind of specific activities. His uh, cultural and only justification could be made on that basis and no way to avoid this consequence. The kind of absolutism uh, would effect. However, that is also a point to be feared of in general theory of a, a criminal law. Uh, and uh, also uh, the balancing uh, perspective is, would be good to appreciate the uh, consequence in due context. It is the harm caused by the conduct of defendant and also some other imminent harm prevented by the same conduct. Okay. Uh, while the international <coughs> covenants, sorry, so I actually uh, very bad uh, on my voice, <coughs> severe cold, I just, uh, and, uh, I'll drop by a drugstore nearby of this class. Uh, Professor Chu's proposal, uh, obviously well intentioned and carefully conceived problems of subjectivity about when proposed cultural rights conflict with other rights at the state level. Uh, so reasonableness uh, element uh, is uh, what a very embedded uh, uh, through the history and uh, uh, the kind of people uh, to found the legal system in this uh, region and what well, uh, actually uh, uh, history. So how uh, do we moderate the kind of uh, uh, competing uh, quest uh, to be resolved in any context? Uh, uh, the uh, majority uh, culture uh, uh, certainly be a source to uh, or, what, uh, uh, authorize the criminal sanction analysis. So it is uh, political in that sense and uh, need to be sustained uh, in dominant aspect uh, and of course uh, corroborated with the argument of uh, Professor Bohemian. So the minor culture uh, need to be uh, uh, what actually uh, congruent uh, and uh, to uh, uh, in uh, uh, cases of uh, controversy, the legislators would uh, employ in many ways. In some cases, they would. keep stands uh, away from uh, enacting the statute. Uh, if the minor culture is uh, uh, very strong uh, in explaining the communal ethos or the share of uh, uh, minority uh, cultural people would uh, 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 be large, uh, uh, relatively large, uh, of course not dominant. Uh, in that case, uh, uh, it need to be uh, uh, scrupulous uh, to uh, create any <laughs> uh, statute in uh, strong demand against the minor culture. That is one way. Uh, and uh, other alternatives 
to resolve uh, the controversy in uh, milder fashion. Uh, nonetheless, it is of course true, as uh, uh, Professor Wayanian argued, that uh, the lower land it need, has to be respected. Uh, that serves <coughs> many purposes, long uh, believed to uh, be uh, indispensable in maintaining a criminal justice system. And uh, one other part about his argument is model penal code, uh, diminished statute. Eh? And that uh, diminished statute was imported by the authority of a main state. Uh, and uh, the model penal code uh, actually uh, seldom used, eh? uh, not uh, preferred by a, a legislature or others, but dynamic and innovative provision that would mandate that a judge dismiss a prosecution if having regard to the nature of conduct charged and the nature of attendant circumstances, it finds that the defendant conduct, the three uh, items were uh, incorporated into the meaningless statute. Eh? Uh, please uh, pay a focus on uh, item third. Uh, what the uh, third exception uh, now uh, be read in this? Uh, it presents uh, present such other extenuations that cannot reasonably be regarded as emphasized by the legislature in forbidding the offense. The court shall not dismiss a prosecution under subsection three of this section without filing a written statement written statement of its reasons. Okay. So uh, in a, on the basis of this uh, third exception, uh, the judge and jurist would exercise a, what an ample uh, choice and uh, plenary discretion in uh, determining whether uh, the act is culpable or punishable. Uh, so the legislature uh, would leave a uh, second tree uh, for uh, the aftermath uh, deliberation of ju judges and jurists. Uh, so as uh, Professor Webster commented, uh, he uh, served uh, as a member of uh, American Law Institute, an uh, alternative uh, uh, to uh, uh, develop the theory of criminal uh, criminal law in the United States. One uh, uh, great author in the theory of law, uh, and he commented on the quality of this third uh, uh, exemption. Now I uh, will say a word of general jurisdiction for this uh, section two uh, point two uh, one two. Nothing is more common in criminal law enforcement, of course, than the exercise on the part of prosecuting attorney. To some extent, the grand juries, where there are grand juries of a kind of an articulated authority to mitigate the general provisions of the criminal law to prevent absurd applications, and this is an in camera op operation. It doesn't come to court. It has been general purpose of court to try to lay a foundation for bringing this general practice in criminal law administration, which we agree is necessary, somehow further out into the open, and the only way to do that <laughs> seems to be to vest in the court a kind of power analogous to the general dispensing power. What is general dispensing power? So uh, from uh, this uh, inscription, uh, you will uh, see uh, the ways of uh, uh, judicial deliberation as analogous to the last stage. So the, the judges could create uh, to fill the vacuum of in uh, very uh, ample uh, uh, power and also which is now exercised in practice by the organs of administration. Uh, Professor Wessler's characterization of judge's role on the section 2.12 uh, uh, <coughs> as being analogous to prosecutorial discretion 
that is brought out into the open by the court is unduly restrictive since uh, sessions begins with the court shall dismiss the prosecution if, rather than the court may dismiss. So it is mandatory that the court dismiss the prosecution uh, if blah blah blah. So uh, the delegation has uh, strengthened, also strengthened this term. Uh, the scope of delegation is uh, exemplary. Yeah, very uh, extent of uh, leniency, uh, which uh, well comparable with uh, the ways of legislation, and also the court uh, uh, is mandated to dismiss the prosecution. That is a distinct way. Uh, Often times would not be available in the criminal. Uh, uh, deliberation. Uh, uh, the code, uh, uh, and also uh, according to the professor's uh, viewpoint, uh, the title of this uh, section uh, is uh, not adequate. Eh? Uh, it is uh, uh, diminished uh, uh, statute, uh, but. Uh, Actually, the first and second uh, section uh, is uh, uh, general of uh, uh, um, criminal laws and others, so um, could not be viewed. Uh, uh, sorry, the third is distinct uh, uh, to uh, be relevant of this. Uh, the title diminishes. Eh? Only uh, the first and second section uh, deserve this title diminishes. Eh? So uh, consider uh, the quality of a uh, third section. And now we have uh, first and second section. First uh, is read in uh, this. Eh? It was written uh, was within a customer license of tolerance neither expressly ne uh, negative by the person whose interest was infringed nor inconsistent with the purpose of the law defining the offense. The second, did not actually cause or threaten the harm or evil sought to be prevented by the law uh, defining uh, the offense or did so only an extent uh, to trivial to warrant the condemnation of conviction. But uh, the third exception would be different. Uh, be different. Eh? And uh, uh, in con uh, in Karga, uh, the state court would uh, refer to uh, the president on uh, the Dominion statute, uh, uh, or, uh, which is uh, original in Hawaii and New Jersey, and uh, opine. Uh, in as described on page 9, consider, for example, uh, plenty of uh, elements uh, would be affected that need to be considered by a court, for example, the background, experience, and character of the defendant, which may indicate whether he knew or ought to have known of the illegality, the knowledge of defendant of the consequences to be incurred upon a violation of the statute, uh, the circumstances concerning the offense, the resulting harm or evil, uh, if any, caused or uh, threatened by the infraction, the probable impact of the violation upon the community, uh, the seriousness of the infraction in terms of punishment, bearing in mind the punishment can be suspended and others, so uh, many factors were illustrated uh, uh, by the court, eh? uh, and uh, in Karga there uh, would be a scope of expert testimony of about culture and custom uh, in Afghanistan. For example, University of Arizona Center for Near Eastern Studies, and another uh, from a religious teacher corroborating the cultural defense uh, 
was presented as evidence in the form of statement. Uh, so actually, uh, uh, the court uh, convicted Karaga of two counts of gross sexual assault while sympathetically suspending his sentence. Uh, on appeal, uh, that is uh, uh, the rendition uh, of judgment by the lawyer court. It was appealed. And Supreme Judicial Court uh, of Maine will deal with the question <coughs> and was uh, overruled. Yeah? The appellate court found the trial court was erroneous and, uh, that failed to consider all of these relevant factors. Uh, the focus is not on whether the conduct falls within the reach of statute criminalized. Um, the court also uh, took a look into uh, the rest of history. Uh, actually, in the original uh, provision, uh, the conduct uh, uh, could uh, be uh, exempted if it was for the purpose of sexual gratification, what caused bodily injury or offensive physical contact out of a legitimate concern for excluding innocent contacts uh, such as for uh, proper medical purposes or other uh, valid reasons. So uh, the sex, uh, purpose of sexual gratification uh, what, uh, have been pre uh, present in the original uh, uh, code. However, later uh, the uh, element was eliminated. Okay? Uh, the sexual gratification requirement was removed, uh, uh, which creates the basis the cargo was convicted. Okay? Uh, uh, this context will reveal. Uh, that the prosecution uh, that uh, opposes challenges and also has some implications to dispose this case. Uh, in reviewing <coughs> the differences between American cultural norms and the Afghanistan customs, uh, the court also uh, make a point uh, to be insightful consider and uh, <coughs> his action of kissing his son genital clearly criminal under the statute but the circumstances uh, of the conduct and the circumstances of defendant call for leniency. Uh, the trial court has suspended his sentence which is generous uh, but there is also incur a severe disadvantage in uh, view of a Professor Bohanian since uh, he would have a criminal record and the obligation to register uh, under the sexual offender uh, registry, registry program. So many public programs uh, to administer precaution uh, against the sexual uh, criminals, you know, the offenders and uh, <laughs> The criminal who have prior uh, criminal history record about sex offenses, and uh, he is an immigrant, so he could also have possibly a, a face a deportation. So uh, the sentence of suspension <coughs> could be advantageous on uh, one uh, hand and. Uh, could uh, uh, be uh, devastating in some cases since he is uh, uh, on a very distinctive status as an immigrant. <coughs> so how do you assess? <coughs> I'm sorry. How do you assess this outcome? Uh, uh, ultimately, uh, if it is successful or not. Uh, when he uh, considers uh, the operation of cultural defense. Eh? Uh, generally, cultural defense uh, would be uh, difficult uh, 
to receive. Uh, that is a uh, dominant practice as I uh, uh, introduced earlier in the United States. Uh, and you now have a selective case uh, that claims success, generally successful, uh, but uh, not uh, complete uh, to satisfy the So, Professor Sincerely uh, has borrowed from Derek Bell's interest convergence to explain the success or failure of these cultural defense claims are proportional to the similarities between the cultural motivations of defendants and the cultural interests and views of the majority culture. And uh, you will have a similar uh, case uh, in uh, State versus Apollos. Uh, it uh, deals <coughs> with the Laotian immigrant, and uh, he stabbed his wife to death in a jealous rage after she received a phone call from a former boyfriend. And uh, uh, you rec now recall on uh, Chan's case, uh, who is a Chinese immigrant. So cultural defense offered to revert an element of the offense charge uh, and in some cases uh, to bolster traditional formative defense and that uh, uh, could uh, be adequate. Eh? Uh, no further uh, that uh, be elevated into any uh, independence dimension. Independent measures. So cultural defense often uh, could uh, not be shared on uh, what the kind of uh, uh, fair extent of uh, extensive uh, deliberation uh, could be a component uh, to uh, be complemented with other factors into final assessment uh, by the judges about affirmative defense. And uh, Professor Bohemian also uh, made a point uh, in, uh, what, concerning Article 13 of Criminal Code. Uh, when a person commits a crime not knowing that his act constitutes a crime under existing acts and subordinate statute, his mistake of law is defense, provided the misunderstanding is based upon reasonable grounds. Okay? So often, mm, the subjective uh, aspect, subjectivity, uh, would be claimed, and uh, subjective aspect is claimed, but the problem uh, barely lies on that aspect. The subjectivity is not friendly with a, a, a criminal justice system. It, it uh, uh, is required to be objective, and uh, indiscriminate in application or like this. Uh, nonetheless, reasonableness is also another uh, alternative person to uh, strengthen the argument of cultural uh, defense. Uh, so we uh, need to take an uh, in-depth uh, inquiry into the mental state of uh, uh, individuals. Uh, actually, the criminal law uh, emphatically uh, stresses the uh, individualistic uh, attribute and uh, exposure in uh, uh, criminal engagement. So death penalty is one uh, 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 illustration I could make. Of, uh, actually, uh, we uh, may defy uh, the organized crimes uh, collectively uh, uh, to satisfy specific crime. Okay? So the engagement might be minor uh, about waiting uh, to kill uh, the victims or others. They would uh, share a plot to 
uh, commit a robbery uh, that would be a uh, one uh, fact uh, you expect in uh, the death penalty cases the uh, criminal theory uh, may be dissociated uh, uh, with uh, sentencing uh, deliberation we uh, need to take a look into an individual uh, his specific activity whether to uh, 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 determining uh, whether to uh, uh, merit the death penalty or not either. how is uh, individual uh, activity or engagement is culpable although uh, they will collectively be uh, uh, punished as uh, uh, armed robbery or forced murder uh, and a mistake of law has been spelled out in this uh, article. It does not refer to simple ignorance of the law, but purpose not to punish a person when he knows that his act constitutes a crime under general circumstances, but misunderstands that in a specific case it does not constitute a crime because it is permitted by laws and regulations. And such misunderstanding has a justifiable reason. Uh, Article uh, 16 of Korea's criminal code is not inconsistent with the legal effect of common law maxim that ignorance of the law is not an excuse since uh, blah blah blah. So you will uh, take an explanation uh, to uh, make a convergence between two legal systems. Structurally it could be made distinct. Eh? and. Uh, uh, his view is that the uh, German uh, uh, law is one uh, another uh, variation uh, from common law. Uh, well, actually, uh, to be uh, departed uh, structurally from common law or theory. Uh, but uh, his point uh, is uh, uh, so. Uh, welcome uh, that the substantiation would uh, enable us to find uh, their uh, common uh, sensibility uh, about the issue. Uh, Germany is the state that a mistake law of law does not negate man's fear, but it is a separate defense. Eh? So mistake law of law is uh, seriously considered and independently as a separate defense uh, that uh, would uh, uh, not uh, well actually uh, uh, compatible with the uh, common law theory uh, consider uh, the part of uh, his uh, version uh, to argue on the differences and similarities between two legal systems. Uh, but, uh, so he uh, evinces the same uh, very uh, 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 persuasively and in a uh, uh, coherent uh, uh, presentation about the uh, uh, point of contention and what is disagreements uh, among the scholars and uh, they cont uh, he contrasted uh, uh, differing views uh, from uh, scholars of authority uh, what actually uh, illuminated uh, uh, in uh, organized uh, fashion uh, to expose us uh, to an interest journey uh, between two uh, criminal justice uh, what uh, ignorance shall legitimate excuse uh, the doctor has applied both to foreigners as it does to the native born as Daniel Webster expressed every foreigner born residing in a country owed to that country allegiance and obedience to his role so long as he remains as, <coughs> as a duty 
uh, upon him by uh, the mere fact of his residence and the temporary protection which enjoys, and is as much bound to obey uh, its rules and uh, a native subject or citizen. So deterrence, uh, retribution, and prevention, and education, the kind of objectives and ideas that should in the criminal justice system uh, will require uh, the law objective. And also the point uh, to be shared uh, about uh, communal uh, security and personal safety. Protection of property rights. So, uh, cultural defense in uh, well, that uh, structure of soul or uh, substantive elements uh, in operation of law uh, is uh, what well, actually making the status of cultural defense meek and uh, slim. Uh, so take uh, the, the examples uh, which are considered very successful uh, uh, about uh, cultural defense claim and uh, exercise uh, to understand uh, the gist of reasoning uh, what actually uh, would help to uh, delineate uh, the uh, theory on uh, cultural defense uh, in the United States. So, uh, who are proponents? For example, Alison Dundee's uh, Ramstrom, a person who is culturally motivated to commit a crime, uh, is less blameless than another who is not, and the difference should be officially acknowledged by a rule that will allow for culture to serve as a partial excuse resulting in mitigation in the proper circumstances. How do you agree with the view from Ellison Dundee's West? And Alan <coughs> M. Chu, who is a uh, professor of Yale Law School, also will be one uh, a proponent about cultural defense. Uh, he would go further, calling for the cultural defense to serve not as an excuse, but as justification to exonerate the defendant in the proper circumstances, reasoning that a partial excuse defense gives the false impression the defendant's natural tendency to comply with the natural, with the cultural norms is somehow uh, is somehow an indication of their mental or emotional is, uh, instability. In uh, people uh, was a Chen. Uh, the murder charge was reduced to the lesser charge of manslaughter, and uh, the defendant received five years of probation for his crime. Uh, so you also have some uh, uh, remark about tolerance. Eh? Tolerance is one element of a uh, modern citizen. Uh, Tolerance in uh, French pronunciation. Uh, actually, mm, one element expected uh, about the modern uh, citizenship. Dolan Kalama, a strong opponent of cultural defense, has articulated the equal protection argument as follows. Often, uh, the scholars in opposite view would raise an equal uh, protection of law yeah? Tolerance of the use of immigrant cultural evidence in criminal proceedings fundamentally conflicts with the principle uh, that the protecting uh, protections given by the laws of the United States shall be equal in respect to life and uh, liberty. For all reasons, indeed, permitting cultural evidence to be dispositive in criminal cases uh, violates the most fundamental principle that the society has a right to government protection against crime and the equal protection doctrine that holds the whatever protections are provided by government must be provided to all equally without regard to race, gender or national origin.
So, uh, uh, in this case, tolerance would not be a virtue. <laughs> uh, they should uh, be cautious about this use uh, by jurors or jurists. So, uh, uh, how do you uh, perceive uh, between tolerance uh, version uh, presented by Doran Coleman and interest convergence theory uh, purported by another scholar, a direct bill? Uh, this morning, uh, uh, Professor Zhong Bingjing, who uh, is distinguished uh, professor in uh, this department, uh, uh, who also uh, served as chief prosecution officer in the nation uh, uh, in early uh, millennium, uh, what uh, presented a very interesting uh, story. It was a uh, colloquium to be convened by concerned professors and uh, students. Uh, very exciting to uh, listen to his uh, presentation. And, uh, he, he pointed to uh, many index of a uh, nation, which indicates the Korea is a very advanced country, and his uh, recognition is expensive. Uh, to create a more advanced nation. Uh, and uh, he, he, he raised tolerance uh, as one of elements that the modern citizen has uh, to make himself equipped with and also uh, practice uh, to uh, bear a, a common benefit uh, for the community. Uh, one uh, element, and uh, this is professional dimension, uh, but uh, uh, could make us reflexive. And uh, what are the uh, points uh, to be found in any uh, significance about understanding of this uh, the, uh, of law, uh, modern of uh, but, uh, okay, uh, uh, I suppose it will be all for this class. Eh? Uh, I hopefully uh, uh, expect that you uh, join uh, uh, the International Symposium tomorrow and uh, uh, entertain such precious uh, opportunity to uh, share viewpoints or uh, viewpoints about uh, criminal law and also uh, the kind of a trend uh, to be a charity uh, to complement your uh, general understanding of criminal law that I consider that would be very valuable. I encourage you to uh, participate and hopefully see you. And also, uh, you will be given a chance to uh, raise question about uh, uh, your point of concern. Uh, okay, thank you for your attention. Uh, I will see you in the next uh, next session.